Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video, we're just going to be testing uh, Mulan. So I've already used this team in a short that I've uploaded previously, uh, but let's go ahead and see what sort of damage we're looking at with this team. So uh, the thinking behind this um, is to have Mulan on the back row uh, with Eudora and with Katrina uh, and the um, Astrid here uh, to provide um, the double attack. Now Mulan will be the one to trigger the double attack uh, and we do have Crown and we do have Knight's Edge as well so we're not using the typical uh, Ethereal's relics uh, in Leviathan, um, the Hammer and yes unfortunately we didn't get everybody there but it's what it is um, and the uh, the scales or the the whip we've in fact gone for pure damage uh, so if you are looking for uh, heavy damage um, or heavy attack increase uh, then this setup of relics would probably do you best now the way that I'm looking at this um, I do hope to uh, do as much damage as possible with this burn mechanic so as you can see we've got a double um, double attack from Mulan here uh, providing the burn to this back row and then everybody but uh, Persephone here has had burn stacks applied on them as well which is the goal uh, now Katrina here uh, able to apply this burn mechanic as well uh, as well as giving the shielding uh, so that we can survive these attacks as well so not as good a showing as the actual uh, short itself uh, but you know, uh, it's more footage of uh, of Mulan, so it looks like we can execute here, a uh, double execution, uh, and then Eudora hopefully to uh, apply as much burn as we possibly can. So this burn here, one round, and we only got one stack of burn currently. Now two, and an execution. There we go. So what sort of damage are we looking at here? Yeah, so Eudora getting a big buff here. Let's try again. But what we're going to do this time is we're going to switch things up. And I want to do as much uh, damage as possible. So we'll go you, 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 and you as well um, what we so typically in this team you could have uh, Astrid replace Mulan but what I want to do is get as much damage as we possibly can for Sal and for Catherine uh, as well and just see if we can outpace uh, Eudora uh, and the setup that we've just had previously now this may fail um, because this team effectively is is a gas uh, a gas cannon uh, a glass cannon uh, type of effect and we don't have, of course, Eudora's uh, attack triggering. Um, what I might try next um, is if we go Nerissa and Leandra as well um, to provide that, um, uh, to get as, as many supers as we can uh, off as early as we can as well. Now still in, now we're in uh, round two, as you can see, a little bit of damage there. But what we're aiming for is to get Sal as much attack as he possibly can through Catherine. As you can see, able to go under shields as well. So doing massive amounts of damage. And unfortunately, a miss there, but we are still applying that burn. And Themis, of course, going off here. And Sal already at max capacity. We've applied burn to the entire rotation. Let's go ahead and see if Sal can pull this off by himself then. As you can see, Mulan is down, but we're still applying that burn mechanic. So we do get Knight's Edge triggering here. And we'll 
we'll get the buff from spear and we'll get the crown effect as well unfortunately no to bolster sell up but hopefully we can take them all out now Oof, that is a miss unfortunately a miss for us as well double miss yeah we'll take those Yeah, unfortunate. But let's go ahead and see what sort of damage we were looking at here. Yeah, so it buffs Sal up quite tremendously uh, because of that burn mechanic as well. Um, so let's go ahead and try a different setup with Mulan as well. And what we're going to do, trigger you. We will uh, trigger the Janna, Sal and Mavis. And we're going to, in fact, we'll take out Sal. And we're going to put uh, Leandra in. We'll stick these two on the front row. Um, and we'll just see how much damage we can get out of Nerissa uh, and Leandra. So as, um, I'm sure if you've watched any previous videos with these two in, this combo of Nerissa and Leandra, whenever we get a summon here, so as we are now, uh, Leandra will uh, trigger her ultimate three times. So uh, in doing so, uh, applying stacks of burn as well. And whenever she does attack, she will sacrifice uh, a summoned unit, uh, like the stranger down here in the bottom. Um, and she will apply holy shields, triggering Nerissa's passive as well. So I just want to see how much damage we're actually doing with this setup. Doing a fair chunk of burn damage, actually. This ends now. This is mine. So we're not applying burn with Janna. This ends now. But we are applying burn uh, with our other units as well in Nerissa. And uh, Leandra as well. Death has arrived. And still got these stacks of Holy Shield, so helping our survivability here, as you can see. This ends now. This ends now. Doing fair chunks of damage. Not as much damage, I don't think, as uh, as Eudora. Uh, but we'll have to see. So you have to note as well that Nerissa does increase her maximum attack up to 450% um, every time a summoned unit uh, does appear. And look at that burn, finishing them off as well. So applying burn to everybody. This, ends now. this is a great mechanic. I absolutely this love this mechanic. <laughs> it's uh, it's fantastic. Triggering Nerissa here as well. attack here finished him off so let's go ahead and see how much damage so yeah it looks like Leandra um, 
and Nerissa doing the most damage, of course. Leandra doing more because there's more supers uh, and more stacks of that burn. What I'm going to do is the exact same thing, um, except I'm going to add um, Atrops in the middle. So it looks like we were doing less damage, uh, but Janna has done more. So let's go ahead and see. Yeah, so Janna doing the majority of the work on that one. Uh, Nerissa not getting anywhere close to where she was uh, without Mulan and Leandra as well. Um, still doing reasonable damage, but not as much. So relying heavily on Janna um, on the death buffs as well. So uh, just something to take into consideration. And we'll go ahead and pop Mulan back in. Uh, and let's try her on a Glorian's team as well. So what I want to do is put Nawi in. Now, I don't think Mulan's um, ability affects Nawi, or it doesn't proc with Nawi, uh, the follow-up attacks. So we'll go with Audrey. Um, and we want to try Talonas and Lily and Leah. So... We'll switch these two round. I'm going to put Audrey here. I wouldn't normally. Normally I would put Audrey in the front row to get the buff from the shield. But because we're not using the shield, uh, I want to see how much damage uh, we can do. And in fact, I think, yeah, we'll do this this one first. And then we'll try switching it up. We'll try switching um, Audrey with uh, Nawi on the next one. So we'll see if we can apply those burn stacks as well. Hopefully now he doesn't proc. Funny enough, but we don't want them taking too much damage from now, we specifically. So we get our relic triggers. To get our shields down over here. And we've applied burn now to everyone. So not as much burn as previously. But I want to see Talonas here. So you get the stun, but ah, there we go. There's that burn damage kicking in. So as you can see, the burn has all faded. Unfortunately, Lily and Leah down is what it is, but we've still got our shields going strong. Then we'll get another round of relic triggers. Yeah, so not as much damage as I would like. But burn is being steadily applied to the entire team here. Go ahead and skip this now. 
and let's go ahead and have a look. So it looks like now he's still doing the most, but the rest of the team, um, who would normally not be able to do as much damage as Nawi, able to do quite a bit. So let's go ahead and switch Nawi with Audrey here. And let's go ahead and just see how much damage we're actually doing. Uh, with Nawi in this spot. So it looks like Audrey down, but now we're doing the most here. Yeah, 3,500 million. I'd like to see that actually. Let's go ahead and see how now we interacts. Come on now, give me a proc. Give me a proc, let me see this damage. That's burn applied to all of them. Doing a fair chunk of damage. Oof. Burn applied again. Yeah, Nawi and Mulan. That that's gonna be quite a good combination, I think. Shame Audrey is down, but is what it is. It's Themis. And it does trigger, so the follow-up does trigger with Mulan, it's good to know. Okay, that's cool. Right, so that's how Naoi interacts with Mulan. Um, I don't think there's many other teams uh, that would really benefit uh, because they don't do big AoEs, potentially Elma, on, but that's Elma on the back row and you don't particularly want Elma on the back row. I have already done some testing with the Mistfires team um, in that really if you want sort of uh, max damage uh, this is the setup that you would go for. Uh, let me just show you this very quickly. I think we'll wrap up this video. Uh, I think we've seen enough of how much of an impact that Mulan does. So we've got our corrode damage as well um, as our burn damage as well. Uh, the reason that I've put Dolahan on this back row here. Um, instead of up front where I would normally uh, put Dullahan, um is because of the burn damage and he should be doing a, um, a double attack or at least 
I think he should be doing a double attack. It's either him or Talos. double burn to all enemies uh, with this setup. It's a lot of burn. It's a lot of burn. Our attack's steadily going up every time we do receive any sort of healing. So we applied burn to almost everybody on that row. And we get the stun off as well. Not bad. shame we can't apply burn for everybody on the team I think that would be too much I think that would be too much to be honest I think Camilla. I think she's doing very well. As you can see, Dullahan doing the most damage on the team. Um, you know, it's, it's more spread out with this team because your DPS really is Astrid and uh, Catherine, but Dullahan putting in the work there, hitting reasonably high numbers. Uh, so uh, that looks very cool. Um, what do I think of Milan? I think she is a, a must summon, um, particularly because of the damage that she applies or the stacks of damage that she does apply. Um, I think that getting her up to uh, eight stars will be a priority to get the striker synergy to increase the damage even more of the team. I think it's really important for her to have that striker synergy. Um, but let me know what you think down below. Um, if there's anything that I've missed or if there's anybody you want to see, uh, let me know uh, and then we'll uh, we'll see if we can put together a video. just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, if you can like and subscribe, it'd be really appreciated. You have a good day.